No. First word I heard was yes out of your mouth, so we ran with that. <laughs> I'm indecisive. Yep, that's the uh, that's the way to be, kind of. Today's show is brought to you by Microsoft 365 in the modern workplace. You can find a link down below to learn more. You know what else is indecisive? Uh, I had to set up a laptop for my daughter this weekend, which I told you about. And, you know, whatever. So I, I go and do all that. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to write this up eventually. But trying to set up and work with a child account inside of the Microsoft ecosystem continues to be a burden in my uh, perpetual side. Because I get the I, I grabbed a Surface Pro. And I did the, whatever, just downloaded the Windows 10, Windows 10. Yeah, that's for the farm animals. Uh, <laughs> I downloaded yep. the Windows 10. It was an older, it was like, this might even be like a Surface Pro 4, maybe mm -hmm. a 5, something like that, whatever. So I just downloaded the Windows 10 install media, set it up, brand new machine, fresh out of the box. And I go to add my daughter's account. And it adds, it, it even shows up. I click it. It's great. This is going to be easy. Click it. And as it logs in, does a full screen, there's something wrong with your account, some cryptic numbers, and it says, please fix online. You click the please fix online, and it says it's not connected to the internet. And then it brings back up the please connect to the internet uh, to fix your account. You click fix connect to the internet, and it just, it was in this like continuous loop of can't connect to the internet, there's something wrong with your account. Something's wrong with your account, please connect to the internet. You try to connect to the internet, there's something wrong with your account. And I just about chucked this thing uh, against the walls of my very nice finished basement. How do you feel about the iPad, Brian? <laughs> I think she has one. Um, but surprisingly, Paul, uh, I, I know this is going to be a shocker. Uh, her PC might actually be a better device right now for what she needs because they're oh. using Flipgrid, which is a Microsoft thing. Granted, mm -hmm. that is, I believe, on the iPad, but they're also doing, like, granted to her school, they're trying to keep some sort of semblance of, like, community and things like they're actually still yeah. doing morning announcements and they, they post them every morning and so you can go in there and watch them and just like morning announcements the teachers have like a, a plan that you're supposed to follow which mm -hmm. god help us all if you have two working adults about how you're supposed to do that because oh yeah you're working oh yeah you need to do 20 minutes of spanish like what like i yeah i, 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 I know taco and queso and <laughs> tequila which is bad whatever so uh yeah this is, I mean, I, uh, I was just finishing up uh, an editorial about working from home, which, you know, I've been doing for 25 plus years. I don't know. Um, I, I, it's hard to give advice because, you know, everyone's situation is different. Mm. And it's it, this is a weird thing because there are a lot of people out there like you with younger kids. And my kids are, are older, so they're less prob problematic. But when I was working... And more problematic in other ways. But when I was working from home, uh, when my kids were younger, you know, they, they, the kids understood. Like, the door's shut. Dad's working. You know, we're not going to bother I him. wish my kid understood that. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to get them to that point. I mean, and, and yeah. maybe this is the impetus for that. But um, but this it's, it's, it's a weird thing to kind of cipher through. But if you think about it, uh, everyone's situation is different. So we've yep. all been basically sent home, uh, unless you're a nurse or something. And um, Okay. Now, if you're lucky... If you're lucky, both people in a relationship, the spouses, can both work from home. But if you're that lucky and you have kids, that means you also have to deal with them too. Right. And that's a very unlucky situation, obviously. And we don't know how long this is going to last. And so part I, I don't have any specific advice for you or for anyone, really, other than to say part of this deal is going to have to be, you know, you're going to be co-parenting at the same time you're co-working or whatever. And... Mm -hmm some schedule some something has to occur i mean you remember probably i'm sure you went through a situation like this when your kid was a baby mm -hmm. and would wake up in the middle of the night crying most people uh, have an arrangement with their spouse where it's your turn and now yeah. it's your turn and, and you do that kind of a thing and um you know i mean uh, this is the new normal it sucks it's i mean it's terrible yeah my and my wife has taken much more of the brunt uh, on this that as, I she, as she does because our wives are heroes and yep. um, you know we are borderline useful we would be more useful as food than we are as human beings yeah so that's great but this is the that's our burden I yeah. guess and theirs yep yeah I was <laughs> gonna say, it's <laughs> you more know theirs it's more their burden yeah yeah because yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> she's like hey could you have, well like you married this like let's hey, you know yeah. sorry I mean this is the fish you pulled out of the sea unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> wow. Could have thrown it back. Yeah. Yep. A little sickly. I guess it's, it's technically like a... not too late to throw it back, but it would be much more sticky. My wife literally made a joke about that the other day. She's like, it's not like I'm leaving you this week. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all right. <laughs> so, Next week, still an option. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man. So the more I think about this, I'm curious to see what's mm. going to happen to the Skype brand long term here. I think it goes away. I think I, it, I, I, it, it is inevitable. The, I, the team was, has such a momentum behind it. I was wondering, because they're killing the UWP app, is like that the first step towards... I think this is well. I think this has been in in play for a while, and, and without getting into specifics about like UWP web blah blah blah, because I know people obsess over that stuff. I think the more important thing is the is the client, and you know this. I mean, Microsoft mm -hmm. sometime last year, I think, it claimed that Teams was now feature comparable to Skype for Business, which of course yeah. we know it is not. Um, <laughs> but at some point, it becomes that or becomes close enough, and mm -hmm. I. Um, it doesn't make sense for them to have multiple clients that kind of do the same thing, just like it doesn't make sense for Google to have multiple cl ch chat clients or whatever. But I think Teams is the one that wins out. We know there's an announcement. Was it this week or next week? Um, yeah, next week. Week from that, today, actually. Week from today. Okay, that is probably related to this very topic. And I think that what we're going to find out, assuming they communicate it correctly, is like, look, here's the plan to transition from the Skype brand on consumer and business. Mm-hmm to teams and um i don't want to call the coronavirus a happy circumstance but it is an incredible coincidence for, yeah. that this thing is happening right now and teams is all the more the team look teams already proved its value but i mean suddenly with everyone working remotely or a lot of people working remotely i mean this kind of solution is all the more important you know i wonder what they're going to call it i ha i really don't want them to go teams for business teams for life yeah. Maybe maybe they just call it Teams for Life. Although the, the one just thing call to keep teams. in mind, God, why do they always do this? Yeah. You know, I will you know, say that drive, for life for branding though. The for life branding is not like there's like we call it Teams for Life, and it's not. I don't know if that's it because Microsoft has had Skype for Life, well, that, as like a code name for years. I, I um, I'll just say you know I I look at OneDrive for Business and I think for in Microsoft's communications about this product they typically just use the term OneDrive and they have mm. been doing that for a couple of years now. yeah that is true um, we know it's really called OneDrive for business or whatever but if you're gonna if you're gonna divide business and um, consumer personal products into two different brands um, the business mm. one is the more important one I think to yep. Microsoft oh, and that sure. should get that should get the name so if you think about something like OneDrive Mm -hmm. or teams those things should be one drive and teams for business and if we're going to give them to consumers that's where you get the extra part of the name so in that sense like uh, teams for life or one drive for consumer or whatever you want to call that mm -hmm. is the thing that makes more sense to me i would agree from, you know. i'll be curious maybe they don't even have to because if you're maybe maybe they just call it teams and who cares right well that's part of the one drive thing because from the perspective of the user if you're using like the client in windows 10 it's the same client. So maybe it could literally be the same client, should be, and it just lights up features based on which uh, version of the service you're using on the back end. Yeah. The, the other interesting thing that's going to be to watch for here is Microsoft already has, right, the consumer subscriptions, Office 365 Home and Personal. They're probably rebranding those or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but what I expect is that they're going to announce new services that are going to come into those bundles, probably called Microsoft 365. But I'm hoping that the price doesn't actually change because that's what they've been doing on the enterprise side. For the most part, I know they've been reducing discounts, but it's these are just being added. And now you have access to them if you're already paying for Office 365 yeah. Home or something. I, I mean, we'll see. But I, yeah. my personal guess is I don't see them changing anything but the brand. Uh, well, and like you said, if they're going to add additional features, that's fine. But you know, Office, um, Office 365 Home becomes Microsoft 365 mm -hmm. Home. Maybe it does a little bit more. Um, and yeah, the, the price should absolutely not go up. Can you imagine, seriously, <laughs> raising the price like right now? Oh, yeah. Would yeah, be the that's... dumbest freaking thing they could ever do. The one thing we'll see if it materializes, I don't know if it will or not. Um, so Microsoft was working on a plugin, sort of like Grammarly, but it was just called Office. Makes sense, right? That's their kind of universal spell check thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we'll see. Interesting. Like a browser plugin, you mean? Yeah. 
Just so in other words, you get the power of the, yeah. Okay. The office, like for when we're writing in WordPress, you're writing an email and you're not mm -hmm. in whatever the Microsoft app, you still get the office uh, spell check thing. So it's a good idea, but I, I mean, you know this too, because you use Grammarly. Um, I am impressed by how many things Grammarly catches that yep. Word does not, and yes. Word uses the Microsoft thing. So, uh, and I know there's a, a Word plugin for Grammarly, but it is a daily situation where I write something in Word. There are no mistakes according to Word, and I paste it into WordPress and our, for our blog, and Grammarly is working in the browser, and it's like, ding, ding, mm -hmm. ding, ding, you know? And you look at them, they're not always right. I mean, but I would say 90% right. of the time they are. I mean, yeah. So that, and then I hope that they actually have a, which I still think they're working on, but I don't have any conclusive proof is some sort of password manager, like one password that would, mm -hmm. I, I, I say this half heartedly. I don't think you can really screw up a password manager. Um, oh yeah, you could, but, but, <laughs> but let's, I'll wait and see. Well, here's the thing. So obviously that could just be built into edge. It should be something they could give away as a, an extension for other browsers. Um, one of the reasons, one of the great reasons why someone would choose Edge over Chrome, which is the most popular web browser, mm -hmm. is because you're integrating with your Microsoft account, not with your Google account, and of mm -hmm. course the removal of the other Google stuff. So this would give you a way to take that step even if you choose to uh, use a different browser. I think that is important. I mean, I, I, you've done this. I mean, I think most people listening to this have probably have done the same thing. I mean, you switch to Edge, you mm -hmm. kind of move everything over, you're not using Google anymore for syncing your whatever. And everything works great, you know? Here's the only ca change I would make to what you just said. Rather than integrate it into Edge, I'd rather them integrate it into OneDrive. What does that mean? What do you mean? So right now, OneDrive has the vault thing. Oh, you want the the actual storage? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, of course. I just yep. meant the functionality. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be because there's there are times where I actually have to open up the One Password app and actually search for... Yeah, uh, it, yep. a password, and I need a I need a location rather than mm -hmm. just saying, "Oh, it's in the browser" type scenario. Well, I mean, if you're using Edge today or Chrome today, because it works similarly, I mean, in the browser itself, you can do the same thing. Yep. And you have to use whatever authentication you use on your computer. It's it's kind of neat. Like if you um, if you just use like a pin, you have to type in your pin to view those passwords. If mm -hmm. you have a Windows Hello facial recognition or fingerprint thing, it will ask you at that time to do that. So it's still, you know, it has that measure of security to it, which I think is smart. Um, but yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. So in other words, put... You can yeah, just call it Password that's... Vault or something. I don't know. Well, it could be... Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I actually, I just don't know where they do it today. I don't... Mm -hmm. It's stored somewhere, mm -hmm. obviously. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it would be, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. If anybody does know, I would uh, I'd be curious to see what people say. Right. So what else is going on? Not a... Not a whole lot on the weekend, so. Yeah, no. Oh, much. Google I.O. officially 100% completely canceled. That's a bit surprising. Yeah, so it has to do with that California lockdown thing. Mm. Um, so non-essential businesses, um, you know, to get this stuff together, I guess they need to be in the same room in some cases. I know that Microsoft has recorded a ton of sessions for Build already because you see the Microsoft guys online mm -hmm. kind of tweeting about it or whatever. Um, but if this is a problem for Google, you have to kind of imagine it's going to be a problem for Apple too. Apple is incredibly secretive and they yeah. require their employees to be in certain physical locations after going through multiple doors of, with security on them and so forth. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I, I was I was surprised that Google did this, but um, obviously they will have multiple announcements as necessary, you know, for all those products. Yep. yep. So... I don't know. Anyways, it's Monday. We'll see what, uh, what sort of news nuggets get dropped this week, maybe. <laughs> I literally woke up today, I rolled over, looked at my wife, and I was like, please tell me it's Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, in our house, it feels like Saturday, part 12. Um, I, I, not joking, I when I woke up yesterday, I literally had to think for a moment. You know, like, is it Monday or is it Saturday? Like, <laughs> we we've only been doing this for a week. <laughs> you know, like this is gonna get ugly. It is. You know, it is. So, speaking of ugly, oh, I forgot to do this. I'm gonna have to edit this in. I totally forgot to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll have to splice that in. Fun, fun, fun. I was gonna say, speaking of ugly, it's just us. Uh, but this today's episode is brought to you by Microsoft 365 for the modern workplace, modern all that good stuff. And so, uh, have yourselves a wonderful Monday, and we'll catch all of you right back here tomorrow.